we have already seen how we can create the software defined network or how we can configure in the Proxmox virtual environment. It is extremely important to understand that how we will now communicate with the software defined network from our physical network. As I'm on one network, I'm not able to communicate with any device which is on the Proxmox virtual environment. In Proxmox virtual environment, these virtual machines or the containers are directly communicating with the software defined network within the Proxmox virtual environment. So let us continue and understand how we can start routing using the existing network router. So here I'm on my Proxmox virtual environment and you can see here this is the software defined network. In software defined network we have the IPM and here you can see that these are the devices or virtual machines and container. Some of these are containers, some of these are virtual machines. They are communicating through this particular gateway which is part of this network and this part of network is part of this virtual network and this is part of this with simple zone. And of course, this gateway is the IP address of the Proxmox virtual environment. Proxmox virtual environment is in fact the gateway for this entire network. So whenever you will define any gateway, that gateway will be the IP address of the Proxmox virtual environment. And if I try to ping this particular IP address from here again, from my local machine, uh, my local machine is having a different network, 10.10.10.1. So it is not giving any response. Why it is not giving any response? Because this network, which is 192.168.240.0, is not able to communicate with the network within the Proxmox virtual environment. Of course, Proxmox virtual environment will be able to communicate because Proxmox virtual environment has the IP address 10.10.10.1 also. And within its own route using the STN, STN has all these routes defined. Even if you remember the configuration that we did in Proxmox virtual environment, network and configuration if i show you cat slash etc slash network slash interfaces we have these networks and we also mentioned that these interfaces also has to be added so all these are in fact internally communicating with each other the routing is already automatically defined here but my network is having a gateway my physical network or my local network is having a gateway and that gateway is also communicating with this local network so I need to make sure the outside the local network should also be able to communicate with the inside simple software defined network. So how we'll do that? We have to, of course, define that into the PFSense. In PFSense, I will be opening the gateway, which is my physical network's gateway is PFSense. If I go to system and I can go to routing here. So we need to define routing in the PFSense to make sure that we are able to communicate with this particular network, software defined network. Now, in this software defined network, if I ask you the question that for this simple VNet, or if I go to data center, software defined network, IPAM, this gateway, which is 10.10.10.1, what is the IP address of this gateway in the Proxmox virtual environment? If I show you in PVE, the IP address of Proxmox for this particular network, for this network, which is 192.168.240.1, IP address of Proxmox here is 240.2. .2. So in order to communicate with the network of software defined network, I should be able to communicate with the help of 192.168.240.2. .2. Let me show you with the help of a diagram. So this is our Proxmox virtual environment, which has the uh, IP address of 192.168.240.2 .2. so it has its own software defined network right now and that software defined network is 10.10.10.0 slash 24. IP address of my Proxmox virtual environment is 192.168.240.2 .2. and at the same time its IP address is 10.10.10.1. 10.10.10.1 is the gateway for this particular one. It is also gateway for other network also. So as this Proxmox is connected to the physical network here, physical switch, and that is uh, connected to the PFSense, and this PFSense is having the IP address 192.168.240.1. My laptop is having the IP address 192.168.240.12. So I am not able to communicate with any of the virtual machine or container. So here is one virtual machine 10.10.10.6. And another container would also be there. So there could be many devices. So if I want to communicate from here to this particular machine, it has a different subnet. This is a different subnet. Here on my PFSense, 
I have not defined that to reach to this particular network, what should be my route? So I need to tell that if you want to reach this network, which is 10.10.10.0 slash 24, you need to go and ask from Proxmox because Proxmox knows where is 10.0.0.0 network. So PFSense has to ask from Proxmox and Proxmox will tell, yes, this is my network. So right now, if you see, I'm trying to ping that 10.0.0.6, for example, we will go to 6. No response is there. Definitely, it will not work. PFSense should talk to 192.168.240.2 and ask to communicate with the 10.10.10.0 network. We need to create a route to this network with the help of Proxmox IP address. So Proxmox is a gateway now for us to communicate with this network. So this 192.168.240.2 becomes a gateway for other network. So what I'll do, I will come here to the PFSense now. So first of all, we will create a gateway here, a new gateway, which will help me to communicate with the another network. So we will come here to add and I will add the LAN gateway on this because this is connected on LAN. So if I show you the diagram again, so this is on LAN. So this particular network is connected on my LAN, not on WAN. Uh, 240.2 Proxmox and PFSense. These both are connected on LAN network. This is 192.168.240.0. Twenty-four. So I'm communicating on this network, but I want this network to communicate with this network also. So what we'll do here, we will come back here and we will define this inside the LAN. And in LAN, we will give the gateway IP address. Now the gateway IP address will be 192.168.240.2 because this Proxmox is the gateway for this network now. So for us, because we are able to talk to this, and this network is also able to talk to this. It means that this will be my gateway. So we will mention this 192.168.240.2 and save this. So I will give it a name Proxmox and save it. Apply the changes. Now you can see that Proxmox on LAN network is defined as a gateway. So its IP address is 192.168.240.2. And monitor is also 192.168.240.2 because if this is up, this means this is up. Now, am I able to still communicate with this? So you can see here, no, till now I am not able to communicate because I have told it that this particular is the gateway, but I did not tell the PF sense that gateway for what? So we have to tell that gateway for this particular network. So we have to define this network here in our PF sense now. So what we'll do, we'll click on static route. And in static route, we will add that network. Add. And what will be that destination network? Destination network will be 10.10.10.10 slash 24. And what will be the gateway? Gateway will not be WAN gateway. Gateway will be Proxmox. So I'm telling, Proc I'm telling PFSense that talk to this network now or route to this word, route the traffic to this network now with the help of Proxmox gateway and I will say here Proxmox STN route. Uh, let me now show you side by side. Right now request timeout is there. It is not giving any response. So I will click on save. Destination network is 10.10.10.0 slash 24 and save. We have to click apply changes. So 10.10.10.1, the response is coming back. 10.10.10.6, response is coming back. 10.10.10.2, this is also there. So I am now able to communicate with the devices on the Proxmox virtual environment. And if I try to open now 10.10.10.1, colon 8006, which is on HTTPS port. So this should be my Proxmox virtual environment on that network because that is also the gateway. Now you can see here 10.10.10.1. This is my Proxmox virtual environment and here we go. So we are now able to communicate with the STN of Proxmox. Here you see the data center software defined network PVE is our software defined network. And here if I try to talk to any of the network, for example, home assistant, Home Assistant has the IP address now. If I click on console, 
it will show me the IP address is 10.10.10.6. So I will just type in 10.10.10.6 10 colon 8123, which is the port of Home Assistant. Everything is fine now. We have the communication between our physical network and the Proxmox virtual environment. So this is the way you can configure the software defined network and to make sure that you are able to communicate with the help of your network router local router as i'm using pfsense if i summarize it we have our local network here and we have our software defined network in the proxmox here we need to make sure that we are able to communicate through the gateway to the uh, software defined network so or software network or vnet so vnet1 was having 10.10.10.0/24 bits and pfsense has 192.168.240.0/24 bit so for pfsense the proxmox was the gateway so we defined the proxmox uh, ip address as a gateway in pfsense and then we defined the network that we need to uh, route to this network and if we want to communicate this network route it with the help of proxmox gateway so here if we see practically how we have done it in the gateways we have defined the gateway over here which is proxmox its IP address is 192.168.240.2 and it is on the LAN network and then we created a static route in static route we mentioned 10.10.10.0 slash 24 is the network which we will be communicating using Proxmox as a gateway. So this was all about routing between your physical network or the local network and the software defined network in the Proxmox virtual environment. So we have covered both the aspects how it can be done in the Proxmox and how it can be done in your local firewall or router or gateway so if you are using pfsense process is explained if you are using anything else you simply need to add a static route so continue the next lecture and see what else we can do in proxmox